Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, videocopilot.net, and welcome to another Action Essentials 2 training material tutorial. Something like that. So what we have here is some advanced muzzle fire action, and uh, we can see that we have this great muzzle flash. We've got uh, the shells being ejected along with a little bit of a spark there. Got the motion blur, and they're kind of flying on. So let's take a look real quick. Watch it a couple times. Sometimes it's hard to see what's going on because of the screen recording, but we've got some alternating muzzle flashes, and uh, you know, this is pretty fun stuff. So, so let's go and recreate this and uh, start from scratch. So I have our machine gun footage. We're gonna drop that into a new comp, and we've got some action here. Very exciting. Now, in our muzzle flashes collection, we've got a couple of different choices. We've got some automatic fire. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and create our own automatic fire. So here's the automatic fire. It's kind of a side angle direction. But it's got smoke and it looks good, but maybe not perfect for this angle. So instead, what I've done is I've imported two muzzle flashes, number 9 and number 10. And we're going to use these two muzzle flashes to create our own automatic fire. So we'll take these both and bring them out into the comp. Now, I'm going to go ahead, reset them to the center, and then I'm going to pre-compose these two elements. So I'll choose Layer, Pre-Compose. I'll call this, uh, you know, Rapid Fire. Okay. And then we'll open that comp, either a double click or alt double click. And what we're going to do is alternate these. So first, we're going to make them, say, two frames apart. So move forward one, two frames, you know, page up, page down and move your next muzzle flash. And then go forward two more, and then duplicate the first one, put it on top, and line that up. Because we don't want the same muzzle flash. In fact, we want to change this one. Since we've already seen it once, we're going to rotate it and scale it down. And we want to line up these muzzle flashes with that center point. So we'll take uh, number two, and there's more muzzle flashes to choose from, but if there's two that you really like and this is the way you want to do it, it's a great way uh, just to, you know, alternate them, you know, scale them, rotate them. Just do a few different things so that it looks more random. Now, the other thing is that when you overlay this many muzzle flashes, it can be a little smoky. So I like to take every other one and trim it so it's only one frame. So we only see the flash. And I got to tell you, some people think that muzzle flashes should be longer than one frame. Muzzle flashes are almost always one frame long. But if you really want to do a slow motion one, check out the charges in the uh, Action Essentials collection. There might be something there for you. But in any case, here we've got uh, this rapid fire action. Now, we want to create more than this. So we'll take these all, duplicate them, and move it to the top here, and slide this over want to and we can control the duplicate it again and so depending on how diverse you want to make this you can go in and you know alternate it but for the sake of this tutorial and uh, the excitement of getting going we're just going to skip that and get started so moving forward here it looks like right about here he's pretending to shoot so We'll go there, we'll take our rapid fire, line it up, and scale this whole thing down. This is the MP5, these are small rounds, we'll stick it right there. And then we can bring the opacity down, and then hit P, and keyframe the position. And then we're going to move forward, and just make sure that our muzzle flashes are lining up with the barrel. Now if you want, you could, you know use single muzzle flashes and do this and it might look a little bit better because the smoke might look a little bit more realistic but that takes a long time and this is a pretty good way to do it so let's take a look we can maybe play around with some transfer modes um, maybe even add a glow stylize glow we'll set it to AB colors and then we'll make a orange glow it's interesting you know if you want to kind of make your muzzle flashes look more like movie muzzle flashes 
just tint them. Um, they're almost always white. You know, they almost hardly ever have any color in them. Now, we could be adding some light in the scene. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip that because there are some tutorials on the website already for adding some reactive lighting. But you could add some lighting to the front of the gun and his jacket and stuff like that. And uh, it would really help sell it. But what we haven't really covered before is adding some shell casings flying around. So here we've got two different shell casings. And what we want to do is say take this first shell casing, bring it out. And we're going to scale it down so that it looks about the size of a 9mm. And go up to full res here. And then we're going to give it some color correction to match. So brighten it up a little bit here. Try to match those tones. Now, it's not going to be perfect, and we could be animating this, but it's going to be so quick, you're not going to even be able to tell. So what we're going to do is hit P, set a keyframe, and we're going to move forward a little bit, and then we're going to animate this thing off of the frame, just like that. And we can make it longer. Now, we're going to select the first keyframe, and we're going to move the handle out in a pattern that looks like it would be traveling if it were actually being ejected. And it spins already, it looks good. And then we could duplicate that and uh, say rotate it to start. And then maybe select its first keyframe and change the curve here, you know? Maybe change where it lands. And the idea is to make shell casings that don't look like they're perfect. Because if we just duplicate these in line, you're just going to see this perfect stream of all of these going exactly the same. And instead, you want to alternate them and play around with uh, you know, the curve because no two shell is going to do uh, the same thing. So the idea is just to you know, alternate them and... Uh, you know, make sure you move the source point to line up where that point is going to come out of. And then finally, we turn on the motion blur and turn it on for the comp, and then those bullet shells have some motion blur on them. And we can check out that. And, uh, you know, a good example is to check out some YouTube videos of, you know, guns being fired and stuff. And you can really see how fast these things shoot out. I mean, they really shoot out fast and you can get an idea on how that should look to, uh, you know, match the speed. And the other thing I did in the original example was I used one of these suppressed firing. See that? And I used that and I kind of mix it in with the opening of where that shell would be coming out of. So I scaled it down, lined it up there, and then rotated it out this direction. Because I got to tell you, sometimes you're going to see just a little bit of fire come out of there. And so we'll keyframe the position of this as well, just like the muzzle flashes, and just line it up with uh, where those rounds should be coming out of. Oops. And uh, again, it's just another way to add a little bit more detail to your gun. And it also gives it that smoke, you know, the gun really, uh, really taking charge and uh, killing bad guys. Okay, well, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful, and uh, I can't wait to see some uh, cool muzzle flashes and some cool action scenes with this stuff. My name is Andrew Kramer, and uh, we'll see you next time.